it's time to put this thing on. The process is really very simple, there's not really a whole lot to it. There's oil and coolant flowing through it and, uh, and air and exhaust. So there's basically an inlet and an outlet to hook up for all of that. That's only four things. Now my car is a whole lot different than a stock car would be. And uh, my oil lines and my coolant lines have been changed from their original configuration. And I'm on call, so I've got to take that. But uh, anyway, I'm going to disconnect those after I drain all the fluids. I like to get the radiator out of the way. Some people would change a turbo without doing that. I'm not a fan of that. You can easily destroy your radiator. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. It's only a few extra bolts. And uh, because my car is so different from stock, I'm just going to roll through it. So much for that socket. Snap.
So there it is, it's on there. I had a little bit of a problem with the fittings right over here that I chose to use for the uh, front coolant hose. It interfered with the uh, center section. And I had to take out a grinder and remove some material behind where that fitting is. Now, overall, I'm not really happy with how well this thing's fitting. Namely, because of the J pipe. Looks like right there I've got about a two millimeter gap between the exhaust manifold and the J pipe. That's not good because that's just going to superheat my intake charge. <laughs> but the other major problem is that it's touching the upper radiator hose. And, uh, looks like it's possibly ripping the, uh, the coupler. It's got my lower intercooler pipe so jacked up that the wastegate vent is aimed right at a coupler. So, I gotta make some changes before I can really do a whole lot with this. Uh, I was hoping it would be a little bit easier and maybe line up like the others. Oh, no, that was, that's off because I was trying to see if I could maybe clock the compressor housing. Uh, turns out to be more of a problem than, than the solution would offer. But, uh, anyway, i got some work to do before I can really put this thing on the road. Just thought I'd share.